All right, everyone, so here we have the finals of Pantheoner Season 6. We have Brandon from Cape Town. They've come very far. Brandon from Cape Town right here. And we see at the very bottom right here, Emil Chesky has come very far. Yep. Um, and now let's go right in with uh, seeing how they're going to play. So Emil Chesky going to take the Temple of Artemis. And then... Brandon from Cape Town, I would guess, takes Great Library and Statue of Zeus. No, they take the Colossus. Okay. I think I like Colossus. I just worry about losing a brown card. I'd rather not lose a brown card, so I just take it. And two shields. One shield's fine. Two shields is, is also fine. I prefer the Statue of Zeus there for sure. But alright, so Brandon from Cape Town I'm going to immediately put reveal a card so that they can put it in. A uh, Greek symbol close to their opponent. Interesting why they did that. I don't know, but um, it could have been a bad reveal. But since all the yellow cards are revealed except for the clay, well, now clay is revealed. I guess it wasn't as scary. So uh, when you play this game, be thinking: Should I reveal or should I not reveal a card to my opponent? Look and see all the yellow cards. If all of them are revealed already, then you're probably safe to reveal a card to your opponent. Um, just you don't want to be revealing the wood reserve or the uh, the tavern to your opponent. That's those two are not not good ones to reveal to the opponent. Emil Chesky going to take. Um, they're going to take the quarry. Okay. Um, uh, Emil Chesky. Okay, interesting. Would, did Brandon from Cape Town just discard that stone reserve? Yeah, they did for two, only two coins. Why are they doing that? Are they thinking they need the coins? Oh, they need it to get the Divine Theater. They were thinking, I'm going to quickly rush Divine Theater so I can take Temple of Artemis. Oh, man. They were afraid that this this mythology token, the Egyptian one, would be secured by Emil Chesky and, and then they would uh, be able to to pick to have raw out there, but and having no extra turns from Brandon from Cape Town, that that is very scary, especially in the finals. So you know this opponent's very good. At this point, Emil Chesky is a 500 level player. Brandon's a 400 level player. Yeah, so you just you know that you you got to watch out. So next up, we are going into the next age. Brandon's got two coins and three points. Emil Chesky, 12 coins and four points. That's important because when you have 12 coins, you can afford pretty much anything out there except for the gate, which is uh, just slightly out of reach. But Emil Chesky, not even caring because the two bottom cards, one of them was a science, and they're going to take it and secure strategy. So maybe they make this finals exciting and go a military victory. That chance, though, when you're fighting against a Colossus. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that works. Um, Brandon from Cape Town going to take Isis. Ooh, Brandon also, uh, they, they used Isis to construct Temple of Artemis so they can have an extra turn. And with that extra turn, they're going to take Nisaba and they're going to copy. So that was a boom, 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 like a lot of stuff they did all at once just so that they could take Nisaba and steal. Oh, yeah. So nobody wants to spend... Uh, no, nobody wants to reveal that card to the opponent, the uh, science card. Mil Chesky gets that science card. They're getting revealed to them. Well, it was revealed, but getting able to be got by them. Then uh, two cards get revealed, just a military and a double clay. Yeah, that double clay isn't so useful. Maybe it would have been for Brandon for Cape Town. Brandon from Cape Town having a record low number of cards, and we're midway through H2. They only have two science cards and one uh, one wood. Uh, but maybe they can pull it off because they just took Gate. They're willing to discard every single card for coins. Now they're at Ishtar, and we're looking at four science symbols from Brandon from Cape Town and nine from Emil Chesky. What's the discard pile look like? Is Oh, no, there's no science symbols in the discard pile, but Brandon from Cape Town has Mausoleum, so if Emil thinks that they're going to hide a, a, a science symbol in the discard pile, that's not going to be how you do it. 
All right. I wonder if Emil Chesky's toughest game was against Narud right there. That was that may have been their toughest game that we saw in the last one, but but in this video it's looking pretty pretty easy shots. Are we going to see all of the military tokens gone from this game? Yeah, Brandon from Cape Town choosing to just discard. They, they're not going to play. And if they discard all the military cards, they'll get their two coins for each time, but... Yeah, I would think Brandon from Cape Town is trolling, but but I know they're not because they are, they are making the smartest moves they can for their turn. It would seem smart moves. Like discarding is a very tough choice when you know you're only getting two coins for it. They're making some tough choices, and they've never been able to secure a yellow card. Except I think they could have taken that stone reserve early. They didn't because they built that Divine Theater, and that cost them. I would have just not built the Divine Theater, honestly. Well, and they might have been out a... Uh, they might have lost uh, Divine Theater to Ra. Tough call, and by do making that tough decision to build Divine Theater and not build the Stone Reserve, they have need to discard every card for only two coins. So they are making some oh, tough call, and Milchewski just destroyed the uh, destroyed the Lumberyard. But they are making some, some good calls, with Brandon from Cape Town taking the yellow card when they were able to, the, the single brewery at the end of Let's look at the situation here. Brandon from Cape Town at four science symbols, Emil Chesky at three. Emil Chesky playing a very high red game. They, they're just one away from victory with military. Oh no, they actually pull it off because they had strategy and it's game over. All right, done, done there. All right, so that is the end of this uh, this uh, season, Pantheon or season six. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I'll show you guys one more time this uh, how the pyramid lined up, but yeah, that that was a, a kind of a exciting game. I think the most exciting game was the was the Emil Chesky versus Narud. I really liked that one, but yeah, that that finals uh, just got obliterated when uh, Emil Chesky just uh, yeah they they just pinned Brandon from Cape Town into having no yellow cards, and uh, when when that happens, you're you're in trouble. So. Make sure you just take the yellow cards, and if you uh, if you don't, you're gonna have to discard every single card to be able to get two coins each time to afford all the gods they bought. Those gods don't cost resources; they cost coins. So, yeah, well done to Emil Chesky. Tough luck for Brandon from Cape Town, but they did beat Tom Thumb Blues, and we saw how they beat them, and they did beat. Uh, they did beat, uh, and Tom Thumb Blues beat me, so. Well, pinned in a similar way that Brandon from Cape Town got pinned. When I was facing Tom Thumb Blues, I felt, uh, age three had no science at all. What, what happened here? Um, yeah, no science revealed at the end. But, uh, yeah, we saw, saw how that game went. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this channel. Um, I might take a break from YouTube for a while, moving to a different place and selling a home. So, got, uh, other things I need to worry about in life, but I'll still be on Board Game Arena. Um, I just want you all to know, even if you don't see me on YouTube for a while, just, uh, send me uh, messages on Board Game Arena, say you want to play a game. Might not be able to play real time, but I'll try to play it turn-based with you. And, uh... Yeah, shoot me messages. I'm I'm always welcome to play turn-based games. It may be a while before I come back. But uh, I've really appreciated all the uh, support in the comments and uh, the likes and all the all the good stuff. That uh, it's just ultimately the support that you guys have uh, shown me in this YouTube little journey I've had, um, balance and family and and uh, and job and everything else. Um, YouTube's not going to be a priority in my life, um, and it's going to be even, even less priority. So, yeah, just how it goes sometimes. But I'm not gone for good. I'll still post every once in a while. But, uh, yeah. I think this was the last thing I had to do, just to just to do the uh, Pantheon or Season 6. I won't be doing any more Pantheon or uh, coverage, I don't think. I'll still do the tournaments, but who knows. But I'm not feeling like I'm going to 
do a whole like hour long video covering things anymore like this, but I just wanted to cover Milchewski's win right there. Um, I thought that was a good, cool redemption from season five. They were second place and they had their first place. Um, so yeah, is there anything else? I think there's a really good player out there Friday night. They uh they won a tournament one time and they said, Hey, I wanna I want you to post about my game and I wanted to get to that tournament's game. That one looked good. Some other people sent me some some games to look at. Uh, Nikki X Nikki X sent me some good stuff that I wanted to post about. They really cool. If you set, see cool things, send them to me. I like to watch them. I may not necessarily be able to post and comment about them time wise. I, don't, I just don't have the time anymore. Um, somebody else sent me something, but yeah, yeah, like, there's just so many videos that I would like to comment on and, uh, or create about Seven Wonders Duel, just haven't had the time, and, uh, initially when I started this channel, I wanted to take the channel into a direction of all strategy for all different types of games, but it's really hard to get really good at a lot of games, and in the process of um, going through the channel, I, I looked to other channels to get uh, inspiration, and I found none that were doing what I wanted to be done with a little bit of tier lists or strategies, uh, a little bit of gameplay, a little bit of commentating on gameplay, so real-time gameplay plus commentating on other gameplays. Those were going to be my three pillars of like make some tier list or like strategy guides, like no gameplay, and then live gameplay, and then uh, commentating on past gameplay so th those were my three pillars that i was going to run the channel with and nobody was doing that and then um channel came out uh no wonders that uh was doing exactly what i wanted uh for a channel so i was like i'm i can't see what i'm looking for on youtube i'll make my own content um and i'll try to do other things and i tried to get good at a lot of different games and really only got good at seven wonders tool um but but yeah, um, no wonders. Great channel, and they have they have all of the uh, those three pillars that I wanted to build this channel on. They have that. They have the strategy guides. They have the real time play. They have the the commentating on on expert level play, and the uh, the the it's a, it's a duo. You know, it's a it's a couple, and they 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 work really well together. Um, and the guy actually, he he's uh Sam has like is like expert level in so many different games and has been the number one in so many different games on Board Game Arena that yeah, you can definitely trust them with so so I'm glad that like I started this thing thinking, oh, it's not out there, I'll create my own thing. I was right, it wasn't out there, but shortly after I started it, it did it did arrive. So anyways, go check out No Wonders. Great, great channel for all types of board game content. And then I realized that that was filled, and I said, "Well, I can continue doing that um, and try to do like three pillars of many different games, or just uh, really stick with one game and do it really well." And Seven Wonders Duel is my main one that I've been doing. Um, it's not even my favorite game. My favorite game is uh, Terraforming Mars, but and my second favorite game is. Uh, a cooperative game, and I don't normally like cooperative games, but uh, Ghost Stories, um, also by Anton Boza, this um, Seven Wonders Duel creator. But yeah, my third favorite game, Seven Wonders Duel, I actually got pretty good at it, and talking with you guys on YouTube really uh, was exciting and be able to, be able to um, synergize with. I talk through this thing, and I think, oh, why do I make those decisions? Maybe I should play a little differently, because I, I give advice on doing A, but I end up doing B. How would I just do A? see how that works out for me i created like a codified like here's what you do um, when you're playing each expansion I create different tier lists on what cards are priorities but then i look at the amount of games that are out there and the people who are in the top 20 right now of playing this game and they all have played like tons of games um, and sometimes they play tons of games on their second account so their first account they played tons more than i have um, and yeah so it, it's just, uh, there's a lot for me to learn still. And I really, I feel that I'm pretty good at the Pantheon expansion, but
but I got knocked out of my own tournament once again. This uh, Pantheon tournament, and uh, I feel if it was Brandon, uh, if instead if I was replaced uh, from instead of Brandon, it was me facing Emil Chesky, I would have lost that game too. And that was a tough one we just watched. So I don't know how I would have won that one. That was I was taking that stone reserve into age one might have been a good move, and I don't know how that would have worked. I might have lost the Divine Theater, and then had no extra turns. So, would have lost either way. So, a lot of, uh, lot of uh, growing is possible uh, for, for myself in Seven Wonders Duel. I'm not the ultimate expert. I was in the top 20 for a bit. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not done, but I am going to be gone for a bit. Um, and I appreciate the support that you all have given me so far. So thank you so much. Well, have a good one. Bye.